this is George Edmondson with MotionVFX.com. Today we're talking about M Workspace. Now on to the tutorial. Once you've installed M Workspace via M Installer, it can be located in your transitions, as well as your effects, and your titles. M Workspace comes with a bunch of different backgrounds, curved screens, we have intros, miscellaneous items, placeholders, and a ton of typography. So right off the bat, if we wanted to use one of these backgrounds, we can use this as either a border that will come in and it's just going to go black right over top, or we can go over and change this in our inspector and we could turn that background off if we would like, and then you can see that it is going to just be around that background there. If you wanted to change any of the colors on that glow, you can do so here. Something that I like to do with this one though is bring the opacity down just a bit, so that way it will add a bit of a darker area around so that you can then do maybe something with some text. So as you can see with that animation in, it will just kind of darken it down, does a little bit of a cool wiggle overlay, fluid overlay thing happening there. Really nice. I'm going to make sure that that is adjusted to fit. And then because we have that border, we can now come and look at some of our other options. So we've got this really cool bar chart. And as you can see, all of this has that really cool curved look, something similar to what you may see if you were looking through an Apple Vision Pro or something along those lines. So on this one, we could do something with our miscellaneous tools here, or we could also use some typography here if we'd like. I think any of it will look cool. So this one right here, this title slate number two, looked really nice over top of this image in our intro. And then it is going to be the same thing here over in our inspector if we wanted to turn the background off or change the background color or anything like that. We can go ahead and just turn that background off since we did turn it on on the border. You can see some on-screen controls. So we do have these on-screen controls here. And that is affecting, as you can see, our kind of color radius thing going on. And then we have just a global here as well for position, scale, and rotation. Really nice. So you can see how that works. I think that looks really great. Moving forward, as you can see, we have this clip here. And let's say that I would now like to do a background of some sort, and then we can add some text on top. I really love this blur background section. So we can drop this onto our clip, bring that back down for time. So I love the way that looks, but there are on-screen controls if you want to make any adjustments to that independently in that way, or there is the global option here as well. Now let's add a bit of text. So as you can see here, I've got this bar chart, which is really cool. I'm gonna bring this in on top of our blurred background, and I'm going to let my blurred background animate in first a little bit, and then our bar chart can come in. So what's really great about this bar chart, as you can see again, there are on-screen controls and it will curve as if it's on that pre-curved section. So I love that they're working cohesively together in that way. There are some additional on-screen controls as well. So I'm gonna actually bring that about right there. I think that composition looks good. And then we can use these other on-screen controls to adjust the lines on that chart so that you can really get a quick idea of how those are working. It's fantastic. We also have this on-screen control here and that is going to adjust the spacing between those. Over in our inspector, if we wanted to make any changes, of course we would do so here with text, spread, we can change the values, all that fun stuff. Now on the other side, I would like to do our list. So I'm gonna bring our list in as well. And once again, I'm gonna bring that in so that it will kind of animate afterwards. So we've got that, then we've got our bar charts happening, and then we have our list as well. So of course, we want to move this list over onto the other side. And again, you can see how it's curving appropriately. And if we wanted to just scale that up so that it would match a little bit better, you can do so just like that and then just kind of 
line it up the way that it should be happening and as always you can make any of these adjustments to the text fonts etc in your published parameters very cool now let's not forget about the typography we've got a ton of typography in here and it's all going to have that great energy that you are used to with a plugin like this so really cool and you can again drag that in over top of any of your clips and with this one it is going to cut to black so you can use that kind of that beginning frame to kind of set the tone and then it's just going to transition right into it with that said, you can of course turn your background on or off. I like having this sort of blurred background or we could just kind of darken it just like this with our opacity. And then that's just gonna animate in really nicely. So let's also not forget about effects. So there's a few ways you can use effects, but we're going to just click and drag on and then you can see how this effect is changing this clip here if you want to use your on-screen controls you can see that your text is going to automatically adjust with you so we could put this over here if we wanted we could put it down there but again check out how that curvature is just kind of working within this effect so it's a really nice a really cool look and then we could put some text over here or anything like that if we would like, or we can simply put this clip on top of another clip if you're wanting to showcase maybe another bit of information. It's just going to move in and there you go. And we also have transitions and we've got a bunch of them. So they are really nice. We've got this bend, we have a blur slide there. We have fade replace screen spin which i love that one we have slide a nice swipe there our text fly through which is really good as well we have a text sweep and we have this zoom i really like this screen spin i think that one's really cool so to apply simply click and drag in between two clips then you can just kind of see how that works if you want to make any sort of modifications to this, you can do so over in your inspector with this curved amount and we have a curved scale. We can make those gaps closer or further away, just depending on what you want. And then we have our background as well. And there you have it. Thank you so much for checking out M Workspace, which is available on motionvfx.com. As always, drop a comment below. If you have any questions, be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.